the biggest news of the of that happened actually most of you are probably aware of this the whole andrew tate arresting which has been pretty interesting to uh, watch and observe from afar i find it interesting because i don't know like other people out there i'm sure other people out there are the same i didn't really know much about andrew tate prior to all the outsized and over the top attention that he's been getting on social media mostly from people that don't like what he says what he stands for um whatever it may be uh, who are maybe trying to go out of the way to cancel him i feel like they've done a really bad job in that because they've essentially made him a lot more popular than probably what he ever would have been obviously he would you know he's probably always going to make a good amount of money when you're selling the grift of being able to you know empower dudes to you know drive fancy cards and hook up with models and stuff there's always going to be a you know consistent and steady line of guys willing to kind of part with their 50 euros per month to kind of get into his top hustlers university but i feel like in terms of his profile to the the normie person out there it's definitely been increased by this kind of crazy amount of coverage he's been getting in the press and i feel like even the recent arrest even if the, you know the charges are really serious in terms of human trafficking they're only going to go and you know one way in terms of sort of like adding to the law and everything else going over on top of it um the circumstances around the arrest were super funny of course him going through that back and forth with greta on the flipping time low so on the timeline um you know the this narrative that's about there now at the moment that he got arrested because of his reply to greta funberg where he inadvertently had a pizza box on his table and that pizza box is a well-known pizza spot in romania and then the romanian police were able to surmise that he was in the country at the time that's what they went to go arrest him because i think he's been touring and doing the podcast interview rounds and just kind of living the bachelor life so they didn't really know where he was before they can go and arrest him um, which wasn't necessarily true you know if, if you're monitoring somebody to that level of detail you're probably going to know where they are at all times and even if he's pl- flying on a private jet they have flight manifestos and whatnot that needs to be logged you know you'll we will see what elon musk has been crying and kind of complaining about online there's no such thing as being able to fly in and out dark you know sort of things um unless you use an assumed alias but they definitely knew he was at all times so i don't think the greta thunberg um jerry's pizza box was the reason that he got brought down if anything this is definitely a combination of things in terms of him probably not just being likable i'm not sorry a combination of things him probably not being likable the fact that he's definitely i feel like embarrassed um romania as a country and their officials there um the judiciary system the police force everything around it when he kind of openly talks about how easy it is to sort of finagle the system and bribe people i don't think that kind of sits too well in a country of people who don't necessarily want to acknowledge or accept the levels of rampant corruption that is obviously you know that exists in that country because it clearly does but it's definitely not a good way to sort of ingratiate yourself with people that already live there and who are looking a bit sideways coming in there like a foreigner and sort of you know lapping up all the resources based on your riches that you kind of attained there so clearly that didn't work and then of course the fact that he kind of riled up and maybe spoke out you know regarding certain things involving key power players in different parts of the world and different industries blah 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 who clearly don't like being embarrassed either and i think the convolutes of those sort of things kind of led to his downfall overall i don't necessarily think it's just because of his misogynistic views or maybe how you know toxic he may be i think those things obviously aren't great but i feel like most of it has to do with those sort of things in free that i kind of mentioned that kind of added to it the other thing that's really interesting about him, I feel like, as an observation, as having, having listened to some of his content, listened to some of his interviews and what he has to offer, it's really basic stuff, which kind of makes you immediately sad. It sort of kind of reminds me of when Jordan Peterson would always start sobbing, which is sort of a sincere point of view, but it does kind of, you know, render it ridiculous when he's sort of like crying and sobbing into his flipping handkerchief about it. But Jordan Peterson's point where he's always cry would be where he would say, um, that it would make it really emotional whenever he'd speak to like a father or a son or a son and they would say something really basic like oh you really taught me how to be a man or I never really had a father figure or this is really important like really basic anecdote that Jordan Peterson said really kind of moved and inf- impacted them in their lives and I remember Jordan Peterson reflecting saying oh that's really sad that I, if it wasn't for me that this person would have never been able to have kind of you know hold their head high or seen that they have value or whatnot whatever it may be and that's the sort of same thing that i had when i listened or saw the you know the andrew tate stuff minus the tears i think myself rah man there must be some really desolate lost men out there who clearly aren't getting the help anywhere else 
who go to Andrew Tate for some level of um, solitude, some level of direction, inspiration, motivation, that they don't get anywhere else in their life. That's a concerning part of it because call him what you want to call him, but why is why are those guys that are going there not going to anyone else that's maybe a little bit more PC, a little bit more PG, or maybe says the right things? Why aren't they going there? Why is he able to kind of capture these young men's imagination? And clearly there's something that those guys are missing out on. Maybe it's an education system, maybe it's at home, maybe societally. I'm not really too sure. But that's definitely something that came to mind in that regard. Um, the other side of things I was making of it is like, the misogyny thing is interesting, isn't it? Because it's like, on one hand, I'm sort of looking at it thinking, what's the problem really? Because if I look at it with a real objective point of view, and again, not being his fan, I'm not really too familiar with the guy outside of a bit of research I've done on him this week based on all the, you know, um, uh, sort of uh, attention that's been brought to him based on his arrest. For me, I look at it and I think to myself, like, Andrew Tate is no different than these kind of radical, radical, radical feminists that I sometimes follow on social media who are immensely anti-male, right? To the point where they're like, you know, they kind of bemoan the fact that men exist in the first place and there's a real kind of movement around the whole, like, you know, get paid, do what needs to be done, dash the men to the side, you can do what you want to do, no one can judge you, this kind of mentality, which I don't really have a problem with. I think everyone should be allowed to do what they want to do with their body. Um, it is what it is. Um, it's none of my business whatsoever how you put food on the table or how you, how you feed your own family or how you just live your life do what you want but I honestly think Andrew Tate is on the different side of the gender coin on that sort of debates like he's no different than those ladies that say they hate men online maybe he doesn't hate women I'm not too sure maybe he does but I don't think they're that different in that respect that this is what you get when if you get like hyper femininity this is like hyper masculinity to its zenith this is what you end up with, like a dude who kind of, you know, it may be preaching the message of like, you know, get get ripped, get money, get fast cars so that you can have the pick of the litter basically and dash them and do what you need to be done because you're a quote unquote high value man. Or as DJ Academics was screaming, you are the prize, you are the prize. Those sort of messages. I don't feel like they're any different than, you know, hate men, hate this, hate that. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm looking at it a weird way, but I don't think they're that different in that regard. Um, the trafficking case, the trafficking charges against them are weird, especially how, from what I've read online and how they kind of do um, criminal investigations of this sort of level in Romania. For whatever reason, um, this is the update, recent update from the case where it says Andrew Tate, Romanian police hold influence for 30 more days. They initially charged him with human trafficking. And I think, let me see what the other charges were. Because they're pretty heavy. They're not like stuff you, you know, it's not like he's getting charged for saying a racy, it's not like he's being arrested for saying a racy joke on YouTube. Um, Ted was arrested on first alongside his brother Tristan as part of an investigation to allegation of human trafficking and the R word, right? So pretty heavy allegations against them. You would assume when they arrest someone on those charges, they already have all the evidence that they need to sort of bring those charges to you. They don't need any more time to kind of gather evidence or put a case together. But for whatever reason, that's what's happened here from the sounds of it they've given they've been held for 30 more days while the police does extra work behind the scenes if i'm not mistaken let me see if i can uh find this here um actually let me read it maybe it says here for to say 30 more days outside the court case um said the appeal of detention is it to confirm it due intention yeah so there we go during the detention hearing the two brothers rem to re maintain their right to silence their lawyer told the bbc earlier the police spokesperson told the bbc that the 36 year old will be held at a detention center on thursday night the romanian uh direct how we say that director oh my girls on thursday night romania's directorate on Thursday night, Romania's Directorate for Investigating Organized Crime and Terrorism issued a statement, but did not name the Tate brothers, stating that the two British citizens and the two Romanian citizens, I like how you just, you know, stripped them of all their flipping clout, two British citizens and two Romanian citizens, were suspected of being part of a human trafficking group. The statement said officers identified six people who were largely responsible, or sorry, who were accused of um, sexually exploited. So the statement said the officers had identified six people who were allegedly sexually exploited by what he called an organized crime group okay so they've got six witnesses or six people that have accused um them of the crime that they've been accused of or been charged with sorry police alleged the victims were recruited by the british citizens who they said had misrepresented their intention to enter into a relationship with the victims which it called the lover boy method they were later forced to perform pornographic content under threat of violence yikes 
born in the US. Yeah, so crazy charges, right? The pictures around it, obviously pretty gnarly. If you want to create merch and do some sort of stuff around that or just use memes, the pictures are pretty gnarly. And if anything, because he's already got a little bit of a quasi toxic kind of image around him, they only sort of add to the law. I think these guys think they're embarrassing him, but with his sycophants and fans out there, they're gonna see this and lap it up and be like, Yeah, takes you know, free Tate, he did nothing wrong, blah de, blah blah blah. But like I said previously, I find the investigation a uh, process really interesting because if i'm not mistaken i've read a bit maybe it's not here in the bbc but i did read somewhere that they were holding him for 30 more days to gather more evidence which is weird to me you would imagine if you investigate somebody on those sort of heavy charges you have all the evidence you need to charge them you don't need more days to sort of put that together maybe i'm not maybe i'm wrong who knows maybe this is what happens all the time when it comes to organized crime you want to get the criminals off the street first make sure they don't run uh make sure they're not kind of you know eliminated by other gangs or whatnot or anything else happens you just want to kind of bring them in as soon as possible and cut all communication with them with the outside world and then hopefully put the case together that you can kind of take to the court or whatnot going forward i'm not really too sure but either way um, the pictures obviously have been spread all over the internet they've been made into memes obviously you can see the pizza box things there going on and again I'm not really too sure what to think of it I'm really not too sure what to think of it um, there's obviously updates here around his cars that have been um, repoed this is courtesy of a Twitter account called Mario Nalfao who's now decided to grift off the back of the whole Andrew Tate thing earlier on in the pandemic I felt oh maybe a few years ago he was heavy heavy in the old SBF FTX thing and was kind of you know riding that to the cows come home but now that's kind of done there's no more reporting need to be done there because he's already been arrested now on bail but basically the court case is pending he's now decided to jump on the Andrew Tate grift which is funny these social media guys always do this and they always jump on one grift to the other but he added this timely update. Andrew Tate's supercars will be seized by Romanian police this week. This is not unexpected. The court will determine whether those cars were acquired through money generated by the proper, sorry, by the purported crimes. If found innocent, the 11 cars will be returned to him. I'm not sure if this is a picture of his actual garage. It looks pretty cool if it is. Some nice collection of cars there, but that's definitely going to be something that's going to hurt him. So for sure, they're, I'm assuming they're going to try their best to clear their names. But again, if they're going to this extent, you are thinking, you know, there's probably, well, the smoke there's fire but who knows takes these cars are there listed Bugatti Chiron BMW M5 Ferrari 458 Italia Ferrari 812 super fast there's a lot of kind of newer cars here there's not a lot of kind of if you're car head cars in it which is disappointing a lot of these guys do this they sort of buy the regular regular cars here nothing really that crazy I'm impressive but to continue um it says here Andrew's Romanian mansion will also be seized this week the former warehouse turned bachelor pad hosts massive parties the podcast studios hustle university room and Tate's gym this is also expected to consider in the to the charges so they're also going to seize the mansion which looks pretty big no no cap looks really really big that's a massive facility man you definitely um maybe move to the right place in europe to get that done in terms of space and maybe the amount of money it kind of costs to put something like this together and the gym looks fairly or whatever spa thing looks here looks fairly decent also that you can use so clearly the charges are serious and kind of egregious and i don't know it's interesting to see the fans who are like him to try and defend it maybe the most you can do is say hey innocent or proven guilty if you're a real big fan of his but to stand there categorically say he didn't do nothing it's a bit wild especially when you consider this is the second arrest on those charges the first one maybe you can chalk up to swat in you can chalk up to you know they're out to get me it's a mistaken identity they want to damage my name cool but a second time you'd imagine there's some evidence there that they are working with or that they've got that they know that they can you know charge him with and kind of you know um take away whatever he's created for himself over there in that regard but again i just find it interesting i just find it really interesting that similar to the whole young folk type of case i would imagine maybe maybe again i don't know the timeline of the andrew tate thing but i'd imagine part of the reason why you'd go to a place like romania is because it's quote unquote lawless and maybe you can kind of get away with a lot more than you would in other parts of the world and also you go there to kind of take your business to the next level because then you can maybe have low overheads so that your profit margins are way higher that's how i'd imagine it to be if that's the case then surely once you get to that country you sort of would stop all the criminality and illegal stuff and just focus 100 percent on your legit business because now you have wiggle room in this country you can take more chances um, maybe that you couldn't take when you were here 
Um, but for some reason, it sounds like whatever he was up to, maybe prior on a lower level, he then continued doing as he started to, you know, get more successful, attain more wealth, attain more notoriety and whatever it may be, which also brings attention, which again, I never got because if it was me and I was, you know, it's, it's like if you're doing ACs or credit card scams early on to kind of get your streaming career started surely after once you get your streaming career started and you've got your subs and you've got your little career going you don't keep doing the scams to buy more equipment you instead try to work your ass off to do as many streams as possible and then use that funds to then go and buy the equipment that you need to go and kind of further your stream i'd imagine that's what you do but again you know maybe i'm kind of talking out of my you know boop boop when it comes to that sort of stuff but regardless crazy crazy situation all, all around um eager to see how this sort of develops and what evidence they actually have against him when it comes to human trafficking because that sort of smudge on your name is pretty heavy it's not something light to look over to be honest um i think if anything as well those charges you'd imagine even if you're found innocent unfortunately in the court of public opinion they're definitely going to damage your brand you know irrevocably so um or irreversibly so like to the point where you'd imagine most mainstream brands who are maybe thinking of trying to collaborate with him in a sort of weird quasi you know kind of edgy counterculture sort of way are definitely gonna make sure they stay way way clear of him because that smart is just too much again even if he is found innocent the smart is found too much and if there are legit victims out there it's maybe encouraging that, you know, even though the country that like Romania is lawless, there is some rule of law there where you can't get away with everything. Even though he was bragging that you could bribe just about anybody, you really can't. There are, you know, when you, especially when you try to embarrass the country, um, especially maybe when it's done to maybe the six, uh, you know, accusers are maybe Romanian, that's also going to be something that they'll probably take a lot of, you know, umbrance to. But regardless, I'm really curious to see how this develops going forward. What happens? Does he get charged? Doesn't he get charged? I'm eager. I'm eager. I want to hear more. I really, really want to hear more.